first at 11, religious organizations across the country are saddened by attacks over the weekend against Jews and Christians. A man wielding a machete wounded five people at a rabbi's home in New York Saturday. The following day, a gunman killed two people inside a Texas church. New at 11, 2 News reporter Kristen Eskow is live in the newsroom after talking with local congregations about these violent acts. Brooke, these are the latest in a series of attacks across the country and around the world on houses of worship. Congress recently passed a bill that would provide grant funding to religious organizations looking to increase security. Two violent attacks on religious groups within 24 hours. Kathy Gardner of the Jewish Federation of Greater Dayton says her group is heartbroken over the stabbing of five people at a rabbi's home in New York during Hanukkah. An attack on anybody is an attack on, on everybody. Four days after Christmas, a gunman killed two people in a Texas church before he was taken down. Gardner says her organization's facilities have several security measures in place, as do other congregations. So that the people who are sitting in the pews are are not looking over their shoulders every time someone walks through the door. At Emanuel Baptist Church in Sugar Creek Township, senior pastor Daryl Messer tells me security guards and a surveillance system keep watch, and most doors are locked during services. Ohio Senator Rob Portman and Michigan Senator Gary Peters co-sponsored a bill to increase funding to a program that provides grants to houses of worship to strengthen their security. The bipartisan bill would set aside $90 million for the program and pass the Senate earlier this month. These grants are available now and places of worship uh, should reach out to, to see whether or not they qualify. Several local religious leaders say aside from security upgrades, faith-based communities need to work together to stop hate. You have to create relationships, you have to build relationships in all kinds of communities so that we're all part of the same group of people and there isn't an other. That bipartisan bill is awaiting the president's signature. Now, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York is calling on Congress to quadruple the grant funding to houses of worship over the next few months, from $90 million to $360 million. Kristen Escal, 2 News, working for you.